Each of these apps has default access to various types of ads. These can be pop-up windows that appear out of nowhere when you tap the app. They can also be specific images that appear when you scroll through the standard gallery. Some ads can be installed as links. I think we've all noticed this on our phones. When you're doing something, like opening something simple, like an app, something pops up. It all happens automatically. Ads are downloaded to various app folders and are basically considered temporary cache. Using the phone is inconvenient, and ads can be annoying. Furthermore, they drain the battery every time they load. And if you use mobile data and have limited data, you also lose your allotted megabytes, even if you're not using your smartphone. Now I'll show you some settings that you need to adjust, even if you haven't used the phone and just bought it. We'll look at the default settings for the default apps that are present on every phone. So, we need to find your default settings. Go to them, and here you'll have a search bar. So you won't have to search for long. Let's use this search here and type in the word. See, it's here. If you have your own settings, but here it immediately found the word, Tingas, it's usually depicted as a brush. Go specifically to, Tingas. Then click the person icon on the right side or the smiley face, depending on what you have. And then a gear icon will appear at the top. Click that too. Here we're disabling two harmful settings. Display ads and personalized recommendations. So, we've done that. Let's exit again so it's clear what we're doing. Let's use our search again. Let's write this top. Here, in principle, you don't need to type everything. It's already found. It's usually depicted as a house. Go to the home screen and scroll down here. There are a lot of settings here. At the bottom it will say, show suggestions, but depending on your phone model, it may not be at the bottom, but somewhere in the middle. Disable this feature. For those who don't know, the desktop is what you scroll across on the screen. One desktop, two desktops, and so on. That's what it's called a desktop. Next, look, all phones have a standard wiper. It's not necessarily the same wiper that I have. It's built into every phone. Let's use the search again and just type wiper here. This way, you don't have to search for it. As for phone storage and standard wiper, it's usually at the bottom. And here's how it's written. Go here. Then, on the right, click the gear icon. Scroll down here and remove Git recommendations. Disable this feature and come back. Now we need to find your default downloader. That is, when you download something from the browser, for example, a movie, an app, or something downloaded from the Google Play Store, the default downloader is used. If it's, for example, Axiom, I have it in the Tools section. And when you go here, there are a lot of things in this folder, including downloads. It usually looks like a downward facing arrow, like something is downloading. Go to that specific downloader. In the top right corner, there will be three dots. Click that and then click settings. Uncheck that, get recommendations. Turn it off. Then come back again. Now you need to find your default player. Even if you don't use it, you should still find it and turn off some features because they will still download the transition to your phone. For example, I don't use music at all. Here on the left side, click these two bars. Click settings. Now click additional settings. It's here at the bottom. Look. It's between additional settings and general. It took a lot of transitions to get here. There will be pop-ups at the bottom. Go to settings and turn off everything you have here. I don't know what apps you have here. Each person will have their own. Just turn everything off like I did. Because if you haven't been here, it will always be allowed. If you turn all of this off, it won't affect the notification. It mainly affects the specific ads. Then exit this menu. It's a little more complicated now, but those who watch my videos will understand where to go. You need to use the Google Play Store, which is where you download games. We won't be downloading anything, but you just need to specifically go through these settings on the right side. Our avatar is there. Click on it and at the very bottom, click Help and Feedback. Here, click Out. Delete the app on your Android device. Find this line to go to the app settings. 
Go to these settings, and here you will see all your apps. Click the button at the bottom and show system processes. There are two malicious apps that also contribute to downloading junk onto your phone. You can have three apps on your phone. Look, one of these apps is the provider. I already have it stopped, as you can see. If you haven't stopped it, it will work. Clear the storage and cache, if there is anything there. What should I do to delete something that has already been downloaded? Power and performance can be left unlimited. But you can completely limit, cancel, stop, and disable. Disable the app and return to the app settings. This app mainly downloads ads. Your browser is a different app. Scroll carefully and find another app that's also important. It's a daemon of my user interface. This is more about loading ads directly on the phone, not through browsers. Follow the same steps. Clear storage and cache. Press OK. Power and performance. It's already limited here, but still completely disable it. Stop and disable it. And find a third app nearby, Mosh. It's almost the same as the previous one. This is also about loading ads. Clear storage and cache, if there is anything there. Power and performance are unlimited again. Go back and stop. Press OK. Plus, you've effectively cleared your system of various junk. You don't need to restart your phone. After this, everything should work without any confirmation. Support this video by liking it.